What up, Internet? Corinne here, and you're watching Corinne vs. Pin. Today, we're tackling the Chirpumple. A pumpkin pie baked in spice cake, an apple pie baked in vanilla cake, and a cherry pie baked in yellow cake. All layered together and topped off with a crap ton of cream cheese frosting. Why? Because America. That's why. I read that frozen pies work best, so I got some of those, then went to the craft store to get a round cake pan. I don't like boxed cake mix very much, so I also needed all this other stuff too. Holy f***ing butter, Batman. So the first thing I did was put the pies in the oven, because they need to cool for a long ass time. Okay, so then I mixed the first batch of batter together. The recipe I used is in the description of this video. This pan is pretty cool. It's gonna be a lot easier to get the layers out. I greased the pan with butter, added a little bit of batter to the bottom, then added the apple pie. Next I added the rest of the batter to the sides and realized this was definitely probably not gonna be enough batter to cover the whole pie. It's not covering the whole pie. Whatever, still using it. But first, I had to let it cool for a long time, and then I removed it from the pan with the help of my little serrated knife friend here. Then I made double the amount of cake batter as before, so it will actually cover the next pie. I repeated the process of adding the pie and the batter, and it looked a lot more promising this time. Just gonna put it in the oven and... No. Damn it. Hmm. Hmm. I may have overcooked this just a tad. Moving on to the pumpkin pie. I prepared the spice cake batter, which smells delicious, and repeated the process of getting everything in the pan. I learned my lesson this time. Got the tin foil down. After that layer was done, I let all three layers cool overnight. Trapumble day three. Woo! What does this cat do all day? Nothing. Get a job, cat. For the frosting, mix the cream cheese and butter together, then mix in the confectioner's sugar. It's at this point that I realized I didn't have enough confectioner's sugar. So now I have to walk to the store and get more. Yay! Alrighty, here we are again. Mix the rest of the confectioner's sugar in, then go ahead and frost the top of the first layer. I am so tired of making this thing. Go ahead and put the second layer on top and ice that shit. Then, put the third layer on top like the boss that you are. Then frost the rest of the cake. I slacked real hard on this. Should have added all the frosting, but you know, laziness. <laughs> I do kind of want to do that. Mm. Is it good? Oh my god. Oh, that looks so gross. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Or you could cut yourself a more reasonable slice, like this one. But you'll probably need about 20 people to eat the whole cake. Well, I would say this was a success. If you find any delicious looking pins you want to see us make on the show, leave them in a comment below. And until next time. <laughs>